So you have a skeleton, but no inverse kinematics. Not a problem. In about two minutes, you'll know how to make all the kinematics you could ever want. All right, let's do this. Now just trust me on this. First, you're going to want to delete all the bones on the right side of the body. So go to object mode, click on the bones, go to edit mode, and drag select all the bones on the right side of the body and delete them. To make a leg IK, click the knee and move it a tiny bit forward. Now extrude a bone from the knee out and extrude a bone from the heel like so. Remove the parents for these bones by going into the bone tab, relations, and click the X next to the parent. And move the new knee bone forward out of the body. Name the bones kneeik.l and heelik.l. And then in the bone tab at the bottom, make sure both of these bones uncheck the deform box. This just means that they won't affect weight painting. Go to pose mode, select the shin, and in the bone chain tab, click add constraint. Click inverse kinematics, under target, click armature. Under bone, select the heel IK we just created, and under chain link, select two. If you move the heel IK right now, you'll notice that you can control the leg with it, but we can make it even better. Under pull target, click armature. Under bone, click knee IK. Now you might notice that the foot starts to face the wrong direction when you do this. Don't worry. Go under pull angle and type in the number 90. The foot and knee should be facing the heel now. If it's not, try typing the numbers negative 90, 0, or 180 instead. Now, you'll notice that the foot kind of just does what it wants, which isn't too helpful. To fix this, go to edit mode, click on the foot, click on the heel, control P, select keep offset, go back to pose mode, click the heel, and now when you rotate it, the foot is no longer out of control. The only problem is if you drag the heel too far, it detaches the foot from the leg. Don't worry, to fix this, go to pose mode, click the foot, under bone tab, bone constraint, add constraint, copy location, armature, and the shin. And in the area that says head tail, drag or type in the number one. You're done. The foot no longer detaches and we can control the leg and our foot rotation with a single heel IK. And the leg will always face the knee IK with the pull target. Great job guys, I hope that helped. If you join me next video, I'll show you some IK shortcuts and apply this system to the arms. If you enjoyed this content, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.